Welcome back Flamingos and Foxes, Mystery Box Brock here, and I have quite the gameplay for you. This is actually a hundred plus kills and three nuclears in one game of Safeguard. As you know, Safeguard can be one of the longest games, if not the longest game in Black Ops 3, because you can go into double overtime, which this game did. And actually, before I'm editing it right now, or as I'm editing it, it is 22 minutes long. So obviously I'm going to go through edit some of these out, fast forward through sections, cut some things out so it's not 22 minutes long for you guys. It might be still somewhere around, around that realm, but I'm going to try and cut some of it short for you guys so you're not sitting there wasting your time seeing things you don't need to see. Uh, it is all one game, like I said, 100 plus, triple nuclear. So the specialist I'm running in this case, I usually run combat focus if I'm going for nuclears to get my score streaks, to get my UAV and hater and power core first, which I'll be going over in a second. But this gameplay I was using the kinetic armor, uh, obviously when you use that you get double HP which comes in very handy if you're getting, you know, if you throw yourself into a bad situation that can save you as long as they don't get a headshot on you. So for the class itself I'm using the Razorback with quick draw and silencer, I like to get the first shots off which is why I use the quick draw. Uh, perk 1 I use Ghost, that takes you off the radar for other enemies so they can't see you when they do have a UAV up. Uh, you really catch players off guard when you're using that, when you, I'm more of a flank player. In this game you will not see a lot of objective playing as I'm more in the background in their spawn, trying to get catch kids off in their spawn, uh, right off the bat when they're, you know, come up behind them on the robot, which is why I use the Ghost perk so they can't see you coming. Uh, perk 2, fast hands, obviously, again, like I said, I like to get the first shots off. And then another perk for perk 2 is scavenger. I use scavenger, or rather you need scavenger for nuclears because you're obviously going to run out of ammo. Perk 3, I use dead silence. That way, kids uh, that don't have amplify can't hear you coming. Obviously, there's sixth sense, but uh, there's really not much you can do about sixth sense, so you need dead silence and then for another perk not to give myself a handicap I use amplify so I can hear kids coming from a longer distance I can hear their gunfire more clear and it really just helps you out along the the way to the nuclear moving on the score streaks I use the uh, UAV for my first score streak obviously it scans it sweeps and you can see the enemies on the radar second I use the hater for obvious uh, reasons you get the constant sweeping, you know exactly where they are and even which direction they're looking. So that's when I tend to get most aggressive when in this gameplay. As soon as I pop that hater, I really try to push charge them and I can, you know, make my moves there. Uh, third, I think I'm one of the only uh, people in Black Ops 3 that use the power core since it's more of a very odd and tends to... It's more of an annoying thing to go up against when enemies have power cores, but it takes away their UAV and it takes away their boost so they cannot use their afterburners and such. I uh, really, it's more of a knowing, and I find it to be more of a distraction ultimately. When players come across it, they'll start shooting it, shooting at it, they'll forget about the objective, and that's when you can, uh, you know, take charge there. And I tend to hang around the uh, power core more when I use it. Uh, sometimes I run away, but uh, get away from the power core because they're more of a distraction to the enemy players, and you can really catch people off guard. That was probably a little off topic, but that was one of the biggest reasons I got nuked out when I did, even on Nuketown. I got my nuked out, which was uh, very odd. That was the last map, but uh, getting off topic, that paracord was probably the biggest distraction in the game. Probably got me six or seven kills in that game, so it works really great if you guys are going for nuked out. So just my last piece here, I plan on uploading another series to the channel besides our arena ones. Uh, Nuclear Fridays, it will only, uh, like in the name it says, it will only occur on Fridays where I upload a nuclear gameplay, whether it be from myself or the Uzi does it, uh, Nasty Ghoul or just recently changed her name. Something like that, I think it would be a lot of fun to showcase our nuclears, just because personally I really enjoy watching nuclears, seeing how players uh, made their way to get that achievement. Uh, so I'll definitely be bringing that into the uh, channel itself every Friday. Going on the uh, Nuclear Friday idea, another uh, point I'd like to make, if there's any subscribers out there that do have a nuclear gameplay that would like to send it in, uh, let me know down in the comments. It is a very small channel of 35 currently, so I'm not sure if we're quite to that point where we can start having subscribers being active in the channel itself as well, but I do like the idea of opening it up to more of a community channel style where subscribers can email me their gameplay and I can showcase it for them on the channel. Uh, let me know if you're interested in that. Any subscribers, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on that. I think that would be a lot of fun.
But that's really my last point. Of course, if you guys do enjoy the gameplay, make sure you leave a like, comment. I really enjoy reading the comments. It makes me more motivated to bring content to the channel and such. Uh, that's really all I have. Hope you guys enjoy the gameplay. Down. 